This is the little cover that goes on top of the radiator. There's a clip here and a clip here. These were attachment points for the factory fan shroud and our new radiator has the fan shroud sort of mounted to the radiator. So we're gonna be removing these two clips, this one and this one. And we're gonna be removing this isolator and this isolator, even though they are in remarkably good condition for their age. Dylan's putting in 5 16 18 threads or rather cleaning up the existing 5 16 18 threads here. Um, we do this a lot actually. This is something we don't normally include in the videos but since he's doing it right here in the engine compartment I just thought I would throw this in. Three mounting spots for that, that part that goes on top of the radiator. Radiator. Spacers. <laughs> they don't really pop in, they just kind of sit there. We've got these brand new polyurethane radiator support bushings. They should be an upgrade over the stock rubber ones, but instead, instead of ending right here where like my fingernail would be, they continue on out here and they hang over the lip of the lower radiator support. They don't really fit right, in other words. So we're going to do some manual trimming to get them to fit down in the C-shaped groove that they're supposed to fit in. Okay, now we have some trimmed polyurethane radiator support bushings that Dylan is installing now. It seems so little. Such small things come with such capabilities. Urgh. Such small things come with such high price tags. Yeah. Is it just me or is that thing sitting a bit high? <laughs> just a little. Okay, so I just measured the distance from inside tank edge to inside tank edge on our DeWitt's radiator. And it measures 26 and a quarter. And then I walked over to our old radiator and measured the same thing, and guess what? 26 and a quarter. And so I was trying to figure out, okay, why do our isolators not fit the new radiator as good as the old one? And so I got the old rubber isolator, and I plopped it on here, and guess what? It's designed to fit on the seam of the tank. Not here. Not on just the where the fins are, but actually to kind of hug that that seam and it and shape perfectly for it and it fits it perfectly. And so imagine that in, in all four positions, top and bottom, left and right, and that's how it's supposed to fit. But the new radiator is different. Um, if you just look here, for one thing. It doesn't stick up as much, and also there's this weld here. So you can try plopping the, the rubber isolator on there, and it, it's not going to fit. It, it's got to be trimmed. And that's fine, as long as you know what you're doing, and you understand why, then no problem, right? All right, here's our modified radiator support bushings. They're polyurethane. Um, they come in a similar but not identical shape to the factory rubber bushings. Um, all the material where my finger is going here has been trimmed off. Um, this enables the part that's left to sit down on the inside of the tank on each side. And together they hold the tank from moving left and right very well. They also hold it from moving backward forward or anything else you don't want it to do. And here is the opposite side. Again, the edge of the tank would be like here where my finger is. These kind of big polyurethane tabs will be pressed up against the tank. And I have trial fitted it and it fit very well, just like this. So we're modifying the bottom ones uh, exactly the same way. Okay, here are our final bottom polyurethane radiator mount bushings. Um, the ends are chopped off on each one versus the way that it came and 
about half of each one of the cradles has been removed. So here we are. Here's one of the bushings being installed. Notice that the, the part that's left, the half that's left of the cradle is to the inside. And now here's the radiator support bushing. It sits down there very nice. It can't move around. And the part that's left, the half that's left, is the part to the inside. And this will be the first time we're trying to make it sit down on our newly shaved support bushings. I think it needs to go your way. Are you up against yours? I think so. Like properly? Like yeah. Oh good. Okay, well because mine is, is perfect. Like, it's sitting in there just the way it's supposed to. Legit. So we, we should be pretty close to bolt hole alignment. Mm -hmm. This is great. Like, yeah, this is good. There's plenty of clearance here to the uh, power steering unit. There's miles of room between the front of the engine and the fans. This is beautiful. There's an outlet here and an outlet to connect to there. We'll get a radiator hose that works. Okay, we have an extra port on our radiator that we don't want to use. It's a little steam tube port. So all you got to do is take a piece of tape and put it on the back side so that you don't get crap falling into your radiator. Dylan's put tape on the back side of the steam tube and left a handle, if you will, that uh, can be like used to get it out. Now we're going to drill out the steam tube for tapping. I have an M4 set screw and that dictates everything else. This is a 964 drill bit. It is considerably smaller than the outside diameter of the tube. That ought to be plenty of depth for our set screw plug. You know what makes me nervous about the small stuff? That you can easily twist it around and destroy it? Um, that's true of the tube, and I, and I am thinking about that, to be honest. But what I'm actually thinking about is the tap and how bad it would be if it broke off in there. Problematic. Now, I would say I'd like to go about to here on my tap. Then I can easily set that set screw all the way in if I want to. Oh yeah, some crap came out. Okay, that's probably the best we can do. I have mixed up a little batch of JB Weld. And I'm going to put some in the tube before I put the plug in. So the plug can push it down the tube. And I'm going to coat the threads of this little plug on there. And then I'm going to thread this guy in there. So this is one of those jobs that's easier to do before you put the radiator hose on. We are now below the flush surface. That is as far as I plan to put this in. So that's it. Comments and questions are always welcome, and they help other viewers. Thank you for watching. If you're wrong, just say, hey, I was wrong. The path to wisdom is easy to walk for those not blinded by ego. Okay, Yoda. It's one of those blue Star Wars I, I books. Think They're almost yeah. always correct.